Okay, so in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is just take these controls that we've already made for the FK um, and flip them to the other side. So if you're comfortable with the last tutorial about making these controls, or you think you feel you can flip them over yourself, then you can just go ahead and skip this, skip this tutorial if you want. But if you're quite new to rigging, I recommend just watching this, just so you know that you've got these controls to the opposite side and they're aligned perfectly and they've been flipped perfectly because we don't want any like what we were on about earlier getting the rotate to match up we don't want any problems when flipping this to the left hand side and I just want to follow this tutorial from start to finish so if you do have any problems setting up the other side you know you've always got this tutorial so I'm going to go from start to finish so to start off with what we'll do is just select these two curves and hit Control D to group and Shift P to unparent. And then we're going to go to the channel box and just reset all the translate and rotate to zero to bring it back to the origin. And now what we can do is start doing the same as we did before. So I'm just going to rename these from left to right and put it back to zero one. So it's important just to rename these straight away so we know which ones we're dealing with. If any problems happen we can quickly debug them. So I'll select the first control, hit control G to group, move it to the joint pie holding down V. With the group still selected, select that bone, hit P to parent, and with the group still selected again, just reset these all to zero so we're matching the orientation of the joint and with the group still selected again we'll hit shift P to unparent. So all we're doing again is just parent it to the bone resetting the transformation so it aligns with that bone and then ungrouping it so we've got it outside of that bone hierarchy. And we'll do the same with the forearm select it, hit control G for the group first snap it to the second joint uh, with the group still selected select the joint P to parent, reset the rotates to zero, and then hit shift P to unparent. So now we've got these two controls aligned up, and if we just double check, we can see in here, it might be quite hard to see with this IK line going along, so we don't, don't want to get confused with that, so we can just go to show and unche uncheck IK to hide the IK. And we can see here that this um, rotate axis is aligned with that bone so it's working okay we'll just check with the other one and it's matching up so everything's matching up but the controls are still flipped so all we need to do now is select these two controls and inside the scale we're just going to put minus one in x y and z and then we'll just right click freeze and just click on scale just to freeze the scale so looking about if we go into the front view, we can see that these controls both have the same angular, just flipped over to the other side, and everything's looking like it's been mirrored OK. Go to the top view, and everything seems to be looking good. And what you can start to do now is now we flip the controls over, we could, if we needed to, start adjusting the CVs again if this isn't a perfectly symmetrical character. It's like he might have a more bulky arm. But for this case, it's been mirrored across, so the mesh is perfectly symmetrical, so we can just leave it as it is. So, I'm just going to select this control over here, press up to go to its group, and I'm just going to copy the name. And again, just keeping things consistent and doing it, doing it as we go along, I'm just going to rename these groups again. So this is the right rotate offset. And the same for this, it's a right far um rotate offset so we're just keeping things consistent and dealing with it as we go along you can see how quite quickly if we didn't rename these and we didn't parent them we'd have by now quite a hefty list of items with random names like group 1 curve 2 and so on all spread out in your in your outliner but by doing it by arranging it and renaming it as you're making it you can see how clean this is and how easy we can just navigate I know when it, I know it wants to go into control objects and I'll just move them in there so now everything's clean and tidy so what we can do here again 
is start resetting up the rotation. So I'll select the curve, select the joint, constraint, orient, and just make sure we're orienting it all axes again and hit apply. And then again, over here, we're going to do this through the node graph, so the hypershade. So we're going to go to render and editors and hypershade. And we'll just quickly do what we did before. Again, we'll select the curve and the two joints. In the work area, we'll go to graph, um, add selected to graph, so we'll get them in there. And we'll bring out another multiply divide node. So just type it in the search bar and click it to bring it out. And we'll do the same before. We'll set and you can also set these in the channel box editor. It's a more simplified view. So this is the inputs one and the inputs two. We'll just set the inputs two to zero point two. And we could always lock these if we wanted. So that way they can never be edited. And we could also, if you ever needed to, if we set this up into two uh, multiply divide nodes like we nearly did earlier you could actually give in different percentages so if we for instance wanted the first joint to rotate by 75 percent and then the second joint to rotate by 25 percent we could multiply it by 0 0.75 and 0 0.25 and that way we still get the total rotation but the joints they're distributed a bit differently so it's quite flexible what you can do in here we'll do the same again drag and drop connection editor we'll take the rotate and put it into input one hit close and then we'll take drag and drop this onto each joint and just hit rotate and we'll again just double check that that's working we can see in here it doesn't seem to be working so one thing we just want to do is go to windows, render and editors and hypershade again bring this back up and we can use the show previous graph or next graph but because we close this hypergraph it's not in the work area anymore so one thing we can do is go to the utilities and this is where things like multiply divide nodes are stored and one thing we didn't do actually is we didn't name this multiply divide node from earlier so you can see here how we don't know if this is left or right so we should have really named that once we were doing it as well so we'll actually do that now so I can tell because I didn't lock the last one in the previous tutorial so I'll just lock that now and I'll just rename this so MD for multiply divide underscore left and score for arm and score zero one and we could put um for arm and score rot for rotate and dis for distribution so again you can have your own naming conventions but from this I know MD's multiply divide is the left forearm rotate distribution so it's just distributing the rotation on the left forearm so it's just a short and sweet descriptive name. I'm going to copy that, I'm going to paste it on the other side, the name, change it to right. And what I can do, oops, what I can do here is just with this selected, I can choose this middle icon here, which is like a square box with two arrows. It says inputs and output connections. And because I know I connected it to these curve and two joints earlier on, I can tell it's going to just graph that network. So I'm just going to move the separator up. With these selected, just hit F to frame up on them. And we can start to see what's going on in here, what might have gone wrong. So what I'm going to do actually is start to rotate this joint and just see what's happening. So I've rotated it minus 25. And that's going into so I can see that's that's working so I'll rotate in a few actually and I can see that's going into the multiply divide correctly but it's not coming to the rotates 
and if you double click this again so we can't tell too much why it's doing that so we just want to double check everything the inputs come in incorrectly so we're getting the rotate from that control uh, we're multiplying so we're multiplying by 0 0.5 but somewhere down the line that output isn't coming coming across so what I'm going to just do is select these two lines hit delete and if it's not letting us delete sometimes when it's a rotate it prefers it when it's translate or other connections so if that's not working we can select these two joints select the three channels and just right click break connections again so in here what I'm just going to do is manually do it drag and drop go to other select the output and select the rotate and again what we can do is select the multiply divide reload left select the joint reload right take the output and then click the rotate again so just constraining that manually up and you can see here how we've we've spent a lot of time sort of checking for errors and finding all different things and each time you learn something in Maya you'll you'll find all these different tools of how to try and check different angles and we can see here that this hasn't worked and the main reason for this is if you can remember at the start of the first tutorial the first thing you did if we show the IKs was to select this IK and set that IK blend to zero and if you can remember me saying in the first tutorial setting it to zero will allow us to check the rotation of these FK controls so it's rotating nice but if I set this to one all of a sudden these joints are not going to rotate so we've missed that main stage right at the start so in actual fact it is actually working it's just the fact that we didn't disable or I didn't disable the IK FK blend so in here we can see that the rotation is now working but we've got a funky problem going on and that is I'm rotating in Y and it's doing it the complete opposite rotating in X it's doing the complete opposite and then twisting the twisting seems to be working fine and this is the case of when we mirrored the joints over the orientation is different so rotating in Y we are basically taking the pure rotate Y so minus 50 we're taking that straight into this joint of minus 25 and because its orientation is the opposite way around the minus rotate is the opposite direction so to fix this again what we can do is if we go to bring the hypershade again and in the utilities I'll select the right forearm multiply divide graph the network again so what, what, what we can do to fix this is if we select these inputs and unlock selected and I'll just put a rotate of Y and Z in there just to get a few things rotating about so all we need to do actually is in the Y just put negative 0.5 and in the Z negative 0.5 so we can see how powerful these nodes can be so now because this is the opposite side the X is twisting fine so we just leave that as a positive but for the Y and Z it's basically if we rotate this by 90 degrees now or if we rotate this by negative 90 we can see now that the distribution is 45 so we're inputting a negative 90 of rotate and it's converting that to a positive 45 on each joint which because the joints are orientated in the opposite way that evaluates as the same direction so if you get any problems like these we just want to go back check what we've got fit stages we might miss we didn't switch the IK off and then because we flip from le left to right we want to just double check that we've got everything correct